Villages in Adams County rely on the 911 communication center to activate their siren. The center says it relies on the villages to keep them up to date. Both failed when residents needed it most. Did you guys know before Tuesday that the siren wasn't working? No. We, we weren't sure if it could be set off or not because uh, we didn't. We knew that they have the capability to set it off. The fire chief does, but he wasn't sure if he'd be even be able to set it off because 911 is usually who takes care of all that. Adams County Chief Deputy Sheriff previously said there's a new director for the dispatch center and she's tasked with fixing the system. There's a lot of old technology and we're looking at new technology. That's why we're looking at this system. Uh, old technology, sometimes it, it doesn't work, sometimes it fails. Mayor Buda says they got the go-ahead to sound the alarm, but when they tried, it didn't work. Winchester did as well, and since theirs didn't work, fire trucks drove around the area with their sirens blaring to try and warn people. We have been maintenancing it for the last year or so, trying to make sure it was up, up and running and everything, and there's been no way to set it off to really test it. So we will be making sure that it is 100% operational and continue maintenance on it. He doesn't remember the last time West Union had a successful siren test because he says the county usually handles it. And we're going to have to work out between the village and the county and have it so it doesn't happen again. So it sounds like they were taken partially off guard here. Don't they have to test them every Wednesday? I hear sirens yeah, 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 every yeah, yeah. Wednesday afternoon. It is more of a rule of thumb, like it's good to, but you don't have to. And I think in this case, it was, a, um, you know, the, since the program automatically does it, and then now that they have to manually do it, these villages, it's kind of a surprise. Oh, I didn't realize that they didn't mm. work. Um, they're also really expensive. So I'll give credit to Mayor Buda, who said that there is a second one being shipped right now. But that's a $25,000 price tag. I guess the question here, how do we get this thing fixed, right? Yeah. How do we make sure that these people, the next time there is a tornado, mm -hmm. they get that warning that they need that could, in some cases, be the difference between life and death? I would say it is to make sure that the system that automatically works is fixed, right. and then also probably installing new ones. Um, but again, there's a price tag with that. So maybe it's our state reps to step in um, who can help. And you're already thinking about how we can continue yeah. to push this forward to make sure these people get that help, right? Absolutely, and these, I know our government officials, they, they care, but it's like, I guess they assume that somebody else had taken care of it and it yeah. wasn't that case. Well, it shouldn't matter if you live in a big city or, or a rural, rural area. area, you should all mm -hmm. have the same access to safety. It's basic. Yeah, all right, Absolutely. thanks for following this. All right, Paige. To get more stories from the Weather Authority and Local 12 News, Go ahead and tap subscribe so that you can get notifications and get updates instantly.